Got the star. Got 82. Just Bowser. What's up, Umar? Thank you. God, I have to traverse like two sub maps now to uh, to go Cape Farm. Was this always green? Are these autumn colors? Wasn't this like blue or white before because it was the snow world? Am I imagining that? Is this the right level? It is the right level. It is the special world colors, right? I guess some level does it. What about- Oh, I forgot about the secret area. Thank you. It's, it's been a fucking week and, and I forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A fucking hard fought for a secret area, by the way. I deserve the use of this fucking thing. Yeah, what's up, Alexa? Thank you. What's up, Myth? Hey, what's up, Brad? Thank you for raid. Hello, friends. Happy birthday, thanks! I'm 40. Yay! <sighs> Alright. N. Ceiling. E. H. Was I standing on something? Okay. Excuse me? I'm checking Lunar Magic if there's like an invisible door here or something. I'm just, I trust nothing in this fucking game anymore. No? Oh, wait, yeah. A solid invisible tile used by the game to temporarily replace question blocks when hitting them. There's just an invisible platform underneath the dragon coins for some reason. I guess so that you can get them if you don't have cape. All right. Onward. We're gonna try door number one first. Just do these in order. <laughs> Door, door number N, I should say. Okay, screen does not scroll backwards. Are those homing bullets? Uh, I don't think so. Seems bad if you don't have cape. I guess maybe, uh... Go in here? No, go in here. Guess maybe you jump off the bullet. Checkpoint! Is that it? Checkpoint? No, I didn't, I didn't fucking think so. You can fly. Oh, there's... You can get up there. I think these might be the ones that don't care if you're standing- no. If you're standing over them, they will... They will just not spawn. Just reset. Okay, well, that's over there. Good. <laughs> oh 
I'm not actually 40 yet, but I am 40 in June. <laughs> Why was that a soft lock? Because the camera does not scroll back to the left. True to the SMB1 gimmick. One cape flight, please. Thank you. So, like, this section is chill, and the next section looks chill. What's the catch? What's the catch? When is it gonna get, like, ultra fucked up? You know? Spin, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, all right. This is this is moderately questionable. What do you do if you're not in the cape? My goodness. Okay. Or if you're small, it's like borderline impossible. Three. Okay, we're gonna. I'm, I'm calling it now. We're gonna maybe want fire for this part. I don't remember if you can cape spot these bloopers. No, and also I'm... Am I gonna die? Yep, I'm gonna die. Alright. Well, we've got through some of this. We've learned that we want to get uh, one cape and one fire for future attempts. Unless... Checkpoint! Bowser? No. Fuck. What's up, Spud? Thank you. that but it doesn't really matter also that that was very nearly a soft lock and I scrolled the camera to the right anymore I really need to be like playing the game very differently not to accidentally soft lock myself Grinder. Okay. What the fuck? No. That's fucking. That's fucking dirty. I mean, I got a checkpoint, but that's fucking dirty. Y'all know what I'm gonna do about this. Aside from saving my checkpoint. Guess what I'm gonna do about this. <laughs> For a long time, viewers of the stream.
I'm wondering how fucked up the uh, the other routes to the checkpoint are. So that really was not that bad. About to go to dinner, but thanks for the heads up. Enjoy dinner, Link Dead. I got the checkpoint. Like, first try, I think. Maybe second try. Second try, I fucking softlock myself the first try. <laughs> Tell you and I said hello. Lopez, thank you. I don't remember that for a change. So, William, thank you. No! I... Fuck. That was an accident. My, my fucking start button is not good on this controller. And so I don't wait for it to actually pause between... Before pressing select and trying to get out of the level. God damn it. I kind of wonder if all all rooms lead to that invisible thing for which I'm getting the star right now. It's kind of a fucked up room if you don't have what I'm about to do. I hope the God damn it! I hope the star timer is long enough. <laughs> I have to really zip zoom through there. Because it, it looked like the dark room architecturally, right? The dark room is not that long. I think you can, you can traverse the dark room within the span of a star timer. Even going kind of casually through it. jump at all before this point just just slide and make sure you pause before pressing select all right all right we're set up for success now You know what? We take those. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Part of me does wonder if that's intended, but uh, <laughs> do a vanilla Bowser to to beat Hyper Three. Oh, I can't win until the star runs out. <laughs> can I can I kill Bowser with the star? seem to reach him. Good enough. Yeah, it really is.
Yeah, I could have I could have just wrapped this up last time. <laughs> Did not have to wait a week to do this. Whatever, it's fine. Oh. Death and vanilla Bowser. I'm glad there was a checkpoint. It would have been annoying to have to do that every time. <clears throat> the multi-room castle. So I uh I took the first route. And the first route was four four uh, SMB1 style rooms. Um, and then a checkpoint, which went to a dark room, which had like invisible sprites in it, and, and I died to that. But then the the midway entrance is just the Bowser fight, and shit. That's good enough for me. This wasn't an easy Bowser's Castle for like a Haimari hack. This was an easy Bowser's Castle like for a hack. <laughs> I was really kind of intimidated based on the level before this and the whole world before this one, but no. Hyper, I think I remember which one Hyper 4 is. Hyper 4 is the one where uh, a few rooms into the castle, there's the one where you like, it's an auto-scroller and Mario like floats and the, and the control to adjust altitude is super janky, right? That one? Yeah, no, no. We did not have that here. That, that seems legit fucked up. I think that might be the only thing I remember about Hyper 4, and it discourages me from playing it. <laughs> Hyper 1 and 2 are... They looked easier, and they took shoved a less time than this, so... I asked Link Dead if there was anything that he would give me in exchange for Hyper 1 and or 2. There it is, Hyper 3. All right, Baby Panga World is is officially in production. You gotta hold up for, for the clap. Okay, I am actually going to stream something after this. I, I didn't think it would actually take me half an hour. <laughs> Yo, it's Stork's ending music. Let's go. How long did this take me? It took Link Dead nine hours. Which is why I thought, like, all right, it shouldn't take me like more than 20. Let's count them up. It took me 17 hours. That, that's less than twice linked at time. I call that a win. That's a win in my book. All roads lead to storks. Technically speaking, this this wasn't an officially recognized uh, inspiration for storks, even though indirectly it probably was. Uh, officially recorded inspiration for storks include uh, Luigi's Adventure, Always See the Lost Levels, and the Hyper Special Worlds. <laughs> so 
So having beaten the first of those, uh, Shavda may well play all Storks Inspirations in the near future. I'm gonna take a look at uh, FT's hack attempt at a normal hack. Yeah, Amber, I, I recall you said you were playing it and that it was the perfect difficulty for you. There was a hack that uh, that FT was was making many years ago called, I think it was called Bridge to Kaizo. It was going to be like a, a beginner Kaizo hack. Uh, and that never materialized as far as I know, and I'm wondering if any of what that was going to be ended up in here, since it looks like it might have. Yeah, what's up, Ike? Thank you. If you recall correctly, the second to last level in this hack was messed up. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, if if I had done it legit, it may have been the hardest level in the game for me. Uh, but I cooked up some very good cape cheese for it, which I can link you to. <laughs> Alright, that's Hyper 3. <laughs> 